Hello, and welcome back to Ed Sheeran Music. I mean, mm, Song of Horror. Song of Horror. Sorry. I get that confused sometimes. Fuck you, Suki. Fuck you. Let's go. I'm going to start immediately, because I'll be stuck on a puzzle for at least two days. Love you, fuck you. Fuck you, love you. I don't... I don't know... <laughs> Clearly my brain is off to a good start because saying that back was like... For some reason it brought to mind... Finch is a madman, help us, save us! Finch is a madman, help us, save us! <laughs> Why the fuck? <laughs> I need to get my brain checked, it doesn't, it doesn't do things properly. You can borrow a brain for stream, please. You can you can have mine. And just constantly in your head now it's gonna be Finch is a madman, help us, save us. Finch is a madman, help us, save us. Ten points if you can remember where that's fucking from. It's kind of overworked. But mine doesn't work. Which is worse. And what was I doing? I got this thing. And I'm looking for Oops. I'm looking for a... You were dying. I'm always dying. You know, on the brain side. I'm looking for another one of these, I assume. You put your house keys just in, th in there just in case Walter Perth dropped by? What the fuck? What a fucking annoying way to get into your house every day. Like, I get protection, but just invest in a fucking security box. That's what you were doing. I'm pretty sure I was doing Finch, who's a madman. Help us, save us. Do you use protection? Well, you don't want more of me around, do you? <laughs> Let's be real. Yum. It's like chocolate coins. In that it's really cheap. Really cheap chocolate. I have another one, buddy. Yum. A mini U, please no. One normal size one is quite enough. In fact, if we can minimize, if we can minimize the one that already exists, what is this? This is what we call an earthquake. They happen sometimes. I assume you know what it is. I assume you did any kind of geography in high school. What's going on? I guess not. She's a history major, not a geography major, everybody. Let's give her a fucking break. She's not expected to know the basic of basics of fucking... Ah, uh, fuck. What are they called? Tectonic plates. There we go. God, I was almost... Ah, uh, never mind, I ruined my joke with my doobie diddy. Again. <laughs> Just fucking right on point. Tentacle plates. Yeah. I wish. Feel like prying the lock open. Well, then who said anything about prying the lock open? What was this? Uh, antiseptic. Drug facts! Well, who wants to learn about drugs, kiddos? Fun fact about drugs. The active ingredient in this one is hydrogen peroxide made of 3%. I mean, this is made up of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, what's the other 97%? Well, don't ask. The last guy who asked that, they shot him in the fucking head. They shot him in the fucking head. Purpose. <laughs> First aid antiseptic slash oral debriding agent? Oral debriding agent. So if you have a bride, they take her away from you, or they drive her away from you just with oral? Like bad oral or by like speaking oral? No, you can hear it swishing around inside. The active ingredient in this drug is drug. 
The active ingredient in this drug is purpose. Fuck. Get me some of that drug. What? I didn't know you could just ingest purpose. Damn. Uses. First aid to help prevent the risk of infection in minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. Aids in the removal of phlegm, mucus, and other secretions associated with occasional sore mouth. Wait, you can actually... That's what good pussy sounds like. Oh, no. No. Stop sticking fucking water balloons up your pussy. It's like you've never seen peroxide before. I have, just... I didn't know you could... ingest it orally. I always... I just... always assumed it was... dab on a wound and nothing else. No, you can't tell me what to do. Suki! Suki, what are you doing with that water balloon? What are you building with that water balloon? You had to use it as mouthwash when you got wisdom teeth out? Oh, 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 oh. That was a taste. Does it taste like good pussy? Do not use in the eyes or apply over large areas of the body longer than one week. Do not use over large areas of the body. Sorry, big titty girls. If you get a cut on your tits or burns on your tits, you're not allowed to use this. Your tits too much of a lot, too large an area of your body. Oh yeah, good pussy. Ask a doctor before use if you have deep or puncture wounds, animal bites or serious burns. Oh, okay, so it only covers the little stuff. Paper cut, mm, that's right on the edge. Get it? Get it, paper cut? Because you cut yourself on the edge of paper? <laughs> it can de stop use and ask a doctor. This is a new puzzle. I know. Read it. Can I pass a fourth grade le reading level? Ask a doctor if the condition persists or gets worse. Who, want, who doesn't want 20 minutes of reading the back of a peroxide bottle? I just love that there's this much fucking detail on it. I mean, you could actually read this whole thing and it makes sense. Like, it probably would have actually been copied by an, from an actual peroxide bottle. You're stalling, huh? No, I'm learning. Sore mouth symptoms do not improve in seven days. Yeah, stop putting this in your mouth. <laughs> Take it out for seven days. Irritation, pain or redness persists or worsens. Swelling, rash or fever develops. Uh, keep out of reach of children. If swallow... Oh, you're not supposed to swallow it. Unlike good pussy, you're not allowed... You're not supposed to swallow it. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, let me compare to my bottle. <laughs> cool, let's compare bottles, Suki. What happens if you call that number? I'm gonna look up that number. Alright. One eight hundred two 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 one two 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 one two two two. No results were found. Wait, no, why is it adding a plus six one? I don't want a plus six one at the beginning of it. The one eight hundred number. Fuck off. Whatever. Two two two. One two two two. Oh, what do you know? It actually. Okay, so it's actually. The New South Wales Poisons Information Center. I'm not in New South Wales, but. That's the first thing that comes up. It's not the same number. I'm guessing that's a redirect because Google knows my location. Yeah, the next one to come up is poison.org. <laughs> Ooh, what do they do? I wonder. National Capital Poison Center. 
All right. It's the same? Really? Do not shake bottle. Really? You don't want to mix the 3% of peroxide with the 97% of purpose too much. It'll, uh, water it down. Dilute it. Drug facts! More drug facts, kiddos! Let's do it! Directions. First aid antiseptic. Yes, yeah, the same label. Really? Is it the same brand? Is it AH Industry & Co? First aid antiseptic. Clean affected area. Apply a small amount of product on affected area one to three times a day. May be covered with a sterile bandage. If bandaged, let dry first. Oral debriding agent. Alright, how do you get rid of a bride? With an oral rinse. No, <laughs> I didn't think so. Adults and children over two years of age and over. Children of two years of age and over have brides. Oh my god. Kids are maturing faster and faster these days. Mix with an equal amount of water. Oh. Swish around in the mouth over the affected area for at least one minute, then spit out. How does it actually taste? Does it taste foul? I mean, most antiseptics smell foul. Use up to four times daily, after meals, and at bedtime, or as directed by dentist or doctor. Children under 12 years should be supervised in the use of this product. Well, the children under 12 could be supervised by their bride. I would not recommend. Alright, so... If I'm only allowed to have one drink on my desk, I shouldn't go with this one. I should go with peach vodka. Other information. Keep tightly closed and in dark places. At room temperature, do not shake bottle. <laughs> Hold away from face when opening. Inactive ingredient. Purified water. Questions or comments? Okay, what is this number then? I'm gonna search up this number too. 1-800. 1-800-525. I'm learning. This is a video game here somewhere, I promise you. Oh, nothing came up. Oh, that's... That's eight, not six. Hold on. Aaron Industries. Google wants to know your location. Fuck off. Aaron Industries. What is Aaron Industries? That is a very similar symbol to the... one there. Aaron Industries Incorporated is a private company. The company currently specializes in the pharmaceuticals area. Well, what do you fucking know? It's located at Clinton, South Carolina, USA. Huh. What do you know? Anyway. Video game? Video game. Now, do I still have a key? Yeah, I still have a key. wonder if that works down here. Trip, 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 trip. Yeah, it does. Alright, let's fun find the underground secret basement of Umbrella. I mean, Aaron Industries. That's a pharmaceutical company. Oh my god, conspiracy theory. This whole thing was caused by an evil pharmaceutical company called Aaron Industries. Okay. Let's find out what's in here. And they're secretly living under this antique store. Just like the other one was secretly underneath a mansion. And a police department. And every other building. Mm -mm. No? Okay. Interesting. What about you?
I always wonder if this is where the electricity meters are, if it's just a storage room. And you thought about that while looking at a fucking axe? Oh no, somebody threw a wrinkled piece of paper away in the waste paper basket? No fucking way! Better pick that up and put it in the proper disposal. Remember, people, she's a history major, not a common sense major. End of shift report. Nothing, 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 nothing. What do you know? Oops, I didn't check the other side. Every time. Damn, Walter. What the hell have you done? I found traces of mud on the stairs to block four, which led down to the window on the first floor. I know it was you. Plus, you ruined the handle on the window. Have you gone mad? I've informed the building handyman so that he can fix it as soon as possible. Oh, I don't know what the hell is up with that girl, and I don't really give a damn. Stop screwing around and stop behaving yourself. It may turn out she's not hysterical, as you claim, but rather that you are one big weirdo. This is the last time I'm putting my ass on the line for you. Hey, recycle that. That's what a waste paper basket is, isn't it? I don't know. We don't actually have waste paper baskets. I've never heard of that term outside of, like, America. I assume that goes into recycling. Now traces of mud on the stairs to block floor, which lead down to the window on the first floor. So the handle on that window is broken. Which one's block four? Block four. I don't know. The electricity meters. Some neighbors have already been caught stealing someone else's electricity. Really? So is everyone just fucking allowed down here? Does everyone have the doorman's keys? Ooh, a weapon. What does that say? A very common tool. Seemed handy. Yeah, that's what a handyman does. More tools from the neighbors in block one. I don't even know what some of them do. Remember, she's, she's a history major. <laughs> You have to start packing, can still hear you though. Okay. Yeah, you should do that. And cleaning. Well, not going in there. I did clean, fuck you. Did you clean yourself? Did you clean that mouth? Disgusting. You talk to your mother with that mouth? Stick a bar of soap in it. Actually, what am I saying? Stick some hydrogen peroxide in it. We just learned this. Take a swig of hydrogen peroxide, you dirty slag. I'd rather it's... Right, where am I? Okay... Go this way. Okay, out here. Rather drink bleach. <gasps> In the same corridor? So what am I supposed to do again? All right, so hold up, so. God, I can't remember how this works. All right, it's a sensitivity thing. The survival mini games are probably the worst part of this game. Shit. God. Okay, how long do I have to do this for? Okay. You two are weird. Mmm. Then why do you sit with us? Hmm? What the hell is going on? Oh, hi, Am.
That guy is me looking for food in the dark at 3 a.m. Using your fucking ears to supervise. All right. I should probably thank you for that. That's true. It's blocked, not locked. Blocked. Cock locked. Thank you for your service. <laughs> I thought you were sick of your uh, care job. Your care provider job. And yet you come and do it in your free time as well. Okay, this is block four. Nice. Doesn't fit. It's not the right key. Oh, really? The shed, maybe? I doubt it. I think it still wants you to go through the window. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's locked from the inside. Always on the clock. Work never stops. Until you bring out the Glock. Ayo. <laughs> uh, maybe Ayo, maybe not. Uh, stuck. Locked. Alright, does this key work on this one? Done. We don't need the camera anymore, so I assume that means this one's blocked too, eh? Nope. Alright, let's enter someone else's apartment block. <laughs> Just cause. Yeah, how are you enjoying work? Did you doing it today? It's not weekend, is it? No. Notices for the neighbours in block two, they look a bit old. Well, don't judge your neighbours. There's one way to get fucking feng shui mirrors put up on their, on their rooftops. True story. Why is there a tricycle in the way of the door and why can't you move it? Just move the fucking thing, okay. You had your client go to management about another client calling him a jerk. I'm 100% sure high school was less obnoxious. <laughs> you literally had one of your fucking clients go, I'm telling on you <laughs> to the fucking manager. <laughs> oh my god. Did a tarot reading for a co-worker since there was nothing better to do. I'd call the police on Corn for calling me stupid. Yeah, they, um, they just block our calls now, it happens so often. I can't see a thing with this rain. Actually, yes you can. Multiple trees, a uh, heating unit there, uh, two benches. You're full of shit, lady. These two dumbasses. <laughs> they need to call their cops, the cops on themselves for saying that. Nothing, it's locked. I'll just keep trying everybody's fucking apartment. Someone will fucking <laughs> let me rob their place. Shall I rob C? Nope. Like, they are younger, but still in their 20s. Though the other staff said his girlfriend is 30. Do you find that weird? Nothing interesting out there. Good, I don't need any more excitement. You're very casual about this lady. You're a C? Damn. <laughs> no. Okay. Keep trying every fucking... <laughs> Fuck off. Look, if you wanted to make a self-deprecating joke, then you should have said you were an F. I mean, 
mean, she's a very manipulative person, so any relationship with her is concerning. Oh, okay. I always wondered what different people think of different... Different people's opinions on age ranges. I mean, is someone in their 20s to someone in their 30s... A deal breaker for you? Nope. Okay, so I came into this place and literally every door is locked. And I don't have a key. Why did I come in here? F for the bus driver. Do you think it's weird? I actually used to, but then someone not so long ago convinced me otherwise. Like, I guess I was used to be very strange about... Hold on, I'm stripping for this conversation, it's too hot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Your abusive ex was 30. What age were you at the time? If you were to share. Yeah, I used to be pretty narrow. Because I was, I don't know. Why? I think I came out of like high school still with that idea of like, you know, every year level in high school is like its own community, right? And they don't often. At least the high school I went to, they didn't often, you know, mingle with each other. So, and because it's those years and your teenage years, there's such a big difference between like a 13 year old and a 16 year old, right? Like, that's when you do a lot of, I was about to say maturing, but not really maturing, just learning about yourself. So... Yeah, like, it's in high school, it's like the case is like, you never date, most often you date within your own year level, but you never really, rarely you'll date one year above or below, but never outside of that. I never saw anyone date two years above or below or more. So I think you just come out of high school with that same, until you get experience otherwise, that same sort of mindset of within a f couple of years of you. But no, I think that's bullshit now. I could date someone who was 30. At 24. 21? Yeah. I think that's okay. I think it was just that he's a dick. Is there something I missed here? Really? Didn't miss any items or anything. Why did I come in here? She's also a diva. Like she brought a drink into the gym. It got knocked over. It got knocked over. Did it again. Then threw herself on the floor and called staff a fucking bitch for telling her no drinks in the gym. What? No drinks in the gym. When you encouraged to bring water into a gym, <laughs> a bottle of water. Got knocked over. Wait, did she bring it in a glass? It feels like 10 years is sketchy as young adults. Once for 20s, once you hit 30, it matters much less. I used to think that too, but I'm like... Oh, maybe 10 years. Okay, 22, 30. I don't know. I was convinced based on the premise that if you find a, like a honest connection, if you're 20 and they're 30, Maybe it's strange, but if you find an honest connection with that person, then as individuals, you're compatible. You're compatible, regardless of the age difference. I'd still say there's a limit, of course. I still find it weird, with, you know, guys in their sixties or whatever having girls in their mid twenties or something. That's always, you know, to me, that's too far. I don't care how compatible you are as individuals. Fuck you, no love for you. But, um... Yeah. Oh god, Quarons vs. Puzzle sus already. No, that implies I need it. I... That implies there is a puzzle. I haven't found the next puzzle. 
I unlocked a bunch of rooms. Did you not see how long Corrin spent reading a peroxide puzzle? It wasn't a puzzle though, it was just... It was just light reading. If I go back down to the storage room, will it be... Will it be free? Did I open up the door in here? No, it's blocked. Yeah, they had coffee slash water and open cups, and it was an actual gym room, so flying balls, drinks in danger, in danger, wow. Okay, yeah, not an o obviously not an open fucking drink. You heard him, but you were doing your stupid note for work. <laughs> your incident report. Uh, a called B a jerk, B got really sad. B retaliated with, I'm telling on you. Yeah, so in the case of that guy, I'd say no, just because, yeah, she's, uh, she's a bitch. <laughs> Regardless of age, she doesn't belong with anyone. Alright, is this still... Do these change over time, or is it... Nah, okay, I... Okay, sorry. Didn't mean to eavesdrop. I was just uh, like... <laughs> sorry, I thought this was the bathroom. Okay, bye then. I mean, I didn't think it was the bathroom. I wouldn't eavesdrop on a bathroom. I am... Um... I'm going. Bye. Alright. So remind me this of this. How the heck do you turn that shaft? With a wrench. I'm a genius. Copper key. There we go. Key to dad's place. As old as his taste. Can I take the wrench back? Oh, I take the wrench back. Okay. Alright. The doors haven't been unlocked yet. Oh, this must be to... Block 4. Yeah, the entire group of young adult clients is like high school. I'm dating her, we're dating, he's cheating on me, etc. You went to school, you know the routine. Yeah, but I didn't socialize in high school. Would you believe I never heard of a single instance of cheating? Because I never heard of a single instance of sex. I mean, it was, it was definitely happening, of course, but... Not amongst the people I was hanging out with. <laughs> Watch a teen drama. No, thank you. This key doesn't seem to be the right one. Oh, okay. Oh. Um. Hold on. It's the key to the dad's apartment, so I just need to find which number he's at. Have you ever been to the States? No. No. Come. No. No. I mean, I wouldn't mind visiting Vegas once. And I was a teenager and I was obsessed with, um, 
I'm just gonna let this happen because I won't let me interact with things. When I was a teenager and I was obsessed with Rooster Teeth, I used to want to move to to um, Austin, Texas to work for them. Change my mind about that right quick. Are we good? Okay, great, thank you. Wait, maybe this works on this one. Okay, no. It wouldn't move here. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. What am I looking for? Um. Hesha? Hasha? Hasha. Hasha, 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 hasha. Hasha, hasha. Well, it has to be in block two, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, hasha, 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 no? What? Oh, great. Here we go. And here I thought I was being smart. It's block two, right, that I unlocked. Yes, yeah, block two. Uh, there are more block twos on this side. I doubt it. This would be block, block three, block four. Hersha? Is it Hersha? I thought it was Husha. Visit, sure. No. How about you, Husha, the fuck up? Not move. I'm not visit. I mean, maybe Vegas. Still. But what about visiting Suki? In LA? No. No, thank you. I'm okay. You don't care. It's not that I don't care, it's that I'm not willing to put myself in that position. Scott Lang? Haha, <laughs> Ant Man. Anyway. I care, just not that much. <laughs> what position is that? Uh, being in LA. For any amount of time. Suki, go to Vegas and I'll meet you there. Alright, no, it's definitely not here. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let me, let me think about this. You've never felt the draw of Vegas? I mean, I'm not that... Chicken feet! What the hell was that? Chicken feet, I told you. I mean, I'm, I'm not that invested in going to Vegas, but if I was to go to America, I think that would be the place. I mean, I can't think of anywhere else I'd really want to go. At one point... I found like a, I can't remember what it was, but it was like a Kentucky tour type thing um, that sounded interesting that was in, I think it was Miami, somewhere in Florida. Um, that was a tour of haunted pubs. So you'd go around to a bunch of haunted pubs, have a drink and, you know, see if you get spooked or whatever. I was actually considering doing that. Except I, was I 21 at the time? I think I wasn't 21. I think I was 20 at the time, so I didn't end up doing it. You're not one for gambling? I'm not one for gambling either, but the... But just to see the fucking casinos. Just to, like, see the pyramid one and the... And all the other fancy ones. Go to Florida, get eaten by alligator. Well, nothing changes from Florida to Queensland, then. I've been to Queensland. I like walking through the casinos. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't really do much gambling. But I'd, yeah, I'd visit. I'd visit the casinos anyway, just to see them. Just to experience the vibe. Alright, 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 alright. 
Does that mean... Wait. Okay, hold on. Walk to... to the shop. Wait, where is that area? I can't remember. Oh, and there's a key there. Oh, yeah, hold on. Not this way. Okay, come. Am, come too. You got the money? Yeah, you think I got the money for that either? No. Actually, tell you what, <laughs> considering, Suki, that you're not as big a fan of the spooks as I am, <laughs> you have to come to Florida and do the ghost tour. No! <laughs> I tried. Don't say I didn't try. Maybe if your art really takes off and you end up at a fair out there. In LA? You can't even watch this game. Oh, is that locker openable? Alright. Alright, what about this one? Uh, nope. Okay. What was the other door? The fairs are everywhere. No, in Australia, as far as I know. Actually, not exactly medieval fair, but while I was at PAX, there was a certain group of um, live action role players doing a an event there, where you like. They give you, like, some gold coins, you know, fake gold coins, and a tabard, and, like, a basic sword. And you go around finding, like, people who are working. Uh, they have, like, people who are working in that group, and they have, like, little headbands that have, like, you know, the exclamation point in yellow for quest markers that RPGs use on their head. Which is really cool. I mean, I tried it, but I couldn't get into it because, honestly, they just move around too much. You end up spending... You end up not going on quests and end up just trying to find the person who gave you a quest or someone to give you a new quest. Walking around all the packs. It was just too big for it. But they had a, um, like, the... If you collected, like, I think 60 of the gold coins from quests and stuff, um... The reward was an invitation to some, like, live-action role-playing uh, festival sort of thing over the course of a weekend at some resort somewhere. And I was like, god damn, that's, that's big. I'd never heard of anything like that happening here until, until I did. Alright, so we go this way. Ah, great, he's there again. Okay, bye then. And I guess I'll go fucking round. Wait, if I leave and come back, will he have left? Yeah, LARP events are uh, sometimes closed off. Fairs are open. Sounds like he's gone. Come on! 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. You weak bitch, come on. Come on. It's oh my god. Come on. Go the fuck away. Oh, this hurts my hand. I hate this so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate that. So much. <laughs> Dude, the fucking door. I dare you, door. What the fuck is up, door? I dare you be opening. Fucking door. <laughs> hey, door. Are you, are you seeing this door? You seen this door, people? This door is opening. Fucking a. Yo, does your does your mom is your mom a door? Does she open too? I bet she opens, eh? I hate that. <laughs> Weak. Yes, I'm a tiny boy. Step the fuck up, though. I won't hesitate, bitch. She stands in the middle of the fucking way, so she might as well be a door sometimes. <laughs> oh, that's like Ellie, my puppy. She likes to stand in the doorways. That's where she gets a lot of attention. Okay. Oh no, Blair Witch has been here. Hey dad, sorry I'm late. I needed to go over the entire fucking city block looking for your key. Then a way to access it. Then a way to access the thing I needed to access it. Then a way to access the thing I needed to access the thing that I needed to access it. Ugh. Dad never leaves the house so late, especially in this weather, and without a scarf. Daddy, are you here? My dad's keys, he can't have left the house unless it was an emergency. Mirror is shattered. You've seen plenty of shattered mirrors. Also, you, at this point, why are you assuming your dad has left? You've seen and been attacked by fucking ghosts and monsters and shit, and you're like, maybe he went. Did he go out for a walk, maybe? Is that why he's missing? Couldn't have anything to do with the fucking murderous monsters, monster ghosts. My dog walks with you and tries to beat you to your destination. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> if my dog wants something, she'll follow you and nip at your heels. No, not your heels, nip at your, like, toes and <laughs> tell you to hurry the fuck up. Even though that just slows you down. <laughs> She's not, she's not the smartest. Oh, hi there. Dad? Dad, where'd you go? Why has Dad got a black light? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a painting. Okay, thank God. <laughs> that looks so suspicious. You walk in and the first thing you see is like a black light looking thing and a and a white streak underneath it. <laughs> Just What the fuck game? Did you not realize how that looked? Oh. An ultraviolet lab to examine that painting, if you can even call it that. Okay, maybe it no, okay, she gets it. Uh kiddo, don't touch that. But why? Don't ask why, don't touch it. Should I grab the light bulb? Sure. Okay. In fact, the light bulb is probably pretty small. I'd say it's portable. Oh, it's such a cute light bulb. Okay. Well, it's probably good it's shattered because you were about to put your hand on a lit light bulb. You fucking moron. 
What's this painting doing here? Under that lamp, where did it come from and why is it so important? Wow, she pretty. Damn, girl, what you do with that neck? How much length do you fit in that neck, huh? A bunch of strangers diaries. The old piano. Uh, Husha bought it from us. And immediately gave it to my dad as a thank you gift for helping him with his first book. Wait, what? Husha bought it from us? Aren't you Husha? And your f what? And immediately gave it to my dad. What? So someone- wait, your dad- wait, what? Your- Wait, no, Husha was- Oh, these people are fathers! I wasn't even looking for the right name earlier. Thank god that wasn't the fucking puzzle. Thank god I was just being stupid in general. I was looking for the wrong goddamn name. That wasn't there. Oh, for god's sake. So anyway, but so... So Husha from the house in chapter one, right. Bought the piano from you and was like, here, have it. Why even bother with the charade of the piano? Just fucking... Just fucking give a donation. Here's the money. Do you are have stupid? Yeah. I am do have stupid. The cups have gathered some dust. I miss you so much, mommy. Can I turn off the TV? No? Okay. Alright. What's this? Puzzle 1, Quarren 0. Oh, please. Puzzle like 6 at this point. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Dad's also a huge spice fanatic. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, not again. No, I just did this. Come on. Oh, I get it. The more you can keep it from being pushed out, the easier it is. Okay. So it punishes you for failing. And it's got this negative feedback loop on it. Negative feedback loop? Sorry, whoever Luke is. <laughs> Fuck you. You didn't realize how pissed your foot was until you just looked at it and noticed it's really swollen. Any injuries on your- oh my god. At least I have no injuries. In fact, I'm managing to avoid COVID in my own home. Instructions on keys. Dear daughter, whom's name I have forgotten. I have tried to arrange the keys for you. The ones on the right hand column are old keys. I only keep them just in case. The coloured metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. The square gold keys and the black plastic keys are all for devices and apparatuses in the shop. The closer the door is to close, the easier it is to close. God, you people make me wish I was drinking right now. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. The round green plastic key is for your motorcycle. Well, I think you'd know that, surely. And the red plastic key is for the safe. The small gold key is for the little box with your mother's things. The other three are for the storage rooms and warehouses where we keep the lots of antiques. Dad. Thanks for nothing, Dad. Okay. Where are the keys? 
Eh? Pet food. Ew! What kind of pet are you giving? This is what I feed my pets? What pets do you fucking have? Lizards? Don't they prefer live crickets or something? <sighs> Actually, you only touched one hot tray this morning. <laughs> Jesus. Suki, that actually makes me more concerned. Are you okay? Why aren't you doing your usual behavior of running around touching all the hot stuff? You said it. <laughs> well, I'll drink it. I'll drink to it later. Also, that's good, Suki. Walking, to working towards that zero. Zero emissions, zero Suki incidents. What's this? Letter three. Dear Isaac, I hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I now know who made this box, but he died years ago. His name was August Legrand. As soon as I find out more, I will let you know. I believe the keys in this lies in returning the box. If you have the list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes. I am positive. I hope everything is going well. Sebastian P. Hosha. Because you weren't there? Ouch. I make you want to commit hurt? I make you want to commit self owie? <laughs> She needs to be a top performance for her mum's vacation itinerary. No time for injured people. True. <laughs> True. She injures herself before she leaves. The schedule will be all out of whack. Her mum will fucking kill her. No, <laughs> no, please not the itinerary. <laughs> uh, you have some scheduled in free time right now. Ooh, Ouija board. Let's play. This is just pure desperation. A Ouija board. Take it! What, what is that? He set f the bed on fire? Is this some kind of sick joke? What makes you think it's a sick joke with all you've seen? She just came in and, s and was like, Did you memorize it? <laughs> what? Ugh. <sighs> What the fu- Like, mum, I barely understood it. How am I supposed to memorize it? Erica. Revisions. Oh, don't worry, Dad. You'll be fine. I'm sure you'll have a good stroke of luck. Anyway. 
Uh, just be sure to get out of the hospital by four. We have to eat dinner with your grandparents. <laughs> there is not a hospital on the schedule. How care you? God damn. <laughs> Bruh, who the fuck was trying to show love in this chat? I'll fucking... I'll fucking end ya. Oh, quotation. Don't even quote it. Let's not get Suki's hopes up. <laughs> Some of the weirdest spots. <laughs> They're just doing their due diligence. Good service. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Ah! Why is it blurry? What? Why is it blurry? Oh, okay, there we go, whatever. <laughs> okay, that one's supposed to be like that. Oh shit, it's one of these kinds of puzzles. So what does this one move? Okay. And that one doesn't move anything. That one moves that one. Ah, shit. Alright. Uh... So, best to get this one correct first, right? No. Um, so, I think. I assume that. Maybe. And. Get this one into a place where this one can then... Okay, so that... Okay, so... I want to move you there, and you... There? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Am I really not solving my own puzzle box? Well, I'm not sure what I'm solving for. Fuck you. Am I putting the green line together or the dragon? Uh, love isn't real, just true. It was Suki's hypothetical mum. I am her hypothetical mum. Wait, can I move this one? Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, hold on. Where's the... Oh, uh, okay. I, like, I tried... To... Oh, I tried turning it sideways. You can't turn it sideways, so I assumed you couldn't turn it at all. But here we go. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. And then... Uh, that goes there. So that goes there. There we go. Not another puzzle. No, I did it just fine. Fuck you. What is this? Oh, Cthulhu. Hi, Cthulhu. How you doing, buddy? Driving anyone mad lately? I don't see why anyone would need Cthulhu to drive them mad. All you need is your own Suki armor and a Amisteria. Keys to my place. 
I love my keychain. You're weird. Why isn't Amisteria the head of the Cthulhu mythos? Lovecrust should have seen it. Alright, we got... This is where we develop the pictures we take with our antique cameras. I still have a lot to learn. That's nice. What's this? Um, okay. But I know that stairwell. Um... I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to correlate with that, the locations in some way. Um, not neat. I like that bottom one. That one's cool. It's subtle. I like my horror subtle. I think my dad was trying to make something, but it looks like some of the ingredients are missing. Would you like some peroxide? Is peroxide used in developing pictures? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh look at that! Oh wow! You wow! You're such a he's such a good photographer. The composition is really great. Because nobody ever asked. Maybe. Okay. Damn Mysterio, would you like to be the new face of the Cthulhu mythos? We think you're perfectly cut out for the role. You're horrifying, and you send people into psychosis. Just with your mere existence. I have a broken mirror. I'm assuming this is the bathroom the picture was taken in. Nope, there's no shower curtain. Well, that was nice. Why are all bathrooms labelled with WC? They haven't seemed to be important in any way. But who's me and Dad? That's nice. Is that what the fucking ghost pictures are for? Photos of me and my dad? <laughs> anyway, no, he's alive. <laughs> that could be quite fun. Alright, it's yours. Family pictures. Oh, there's nothing like staring at family pictures while you take a shit. The fuck puts photos in a fucking bathroom? There's moisture and fucking shit and... My mum does. Actually, so it's mine. But it's not family photos, it's... Oh, again? Leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> Buddy, if you're listening, listen to this. Fuck off! <laughs> now, <laughs> listen and understand. Fuck off. What a lovely hobby he has. He turns up in random corridors, listens, and then is like, Actually, this corridor sounds shit. I'm gonna go listen to a different one. And disappears. Huh? Nope. Not going in there, then. Alright. Oh, well, I got the key to block four. Let's go do that. Neat. 
What an edgy interior designer your dad got. I dig it. <laughs> I can hang with it. Carol Mary Lacoalas? I Carol Mary Lacoalas are good. And get some strawberry Freddo frogs. And do they do still do the uh, honeycomb Freddo frogs? Those were good too. Hey yo. <laughs> Away? Oh yeah. Did anyone remember the Ooh yeah? What a fabulous console that was. That's not the last use for that. Oh, you gotta get into our actual apartment, too. There it! Progress! Why are we keeping gas canisters? What the fuck? These. <clears throat> anyway! Nothing happened, Twitch. Hey yo. What? Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing for Twitch to be concerned about. Anyway. And check which one she was. Can't be bothered going back. <laughs> Kind of animal broke the window handle. Oh, she dead. I could have broken my legs. <laughs> Walter Sullivan. Oh, let's hope he's dead. Well, his legs are broken. Yeah, out in the woods somewhere. What's this? Square torch with a clip attachment. Nice. Doesn't have a light bulb. Well, that's why we got one, isn't it? Alright. These belong to the dyers from block one. As long as they keep saving us money by fixing things up, nobody cares where they keep their tools. Alright. Oh, the DIY uh, dyers. I'm a fucking... The dyers? <laughs> I want that to be my profession. Alright, let's go quickly check which room is. Erica's. You are half dumb. No, I was just... It was just optimistic thinking. Wishful thinking. Wishful reading. Alright. Uh, block 4 is on this side, isn't it? Block 4. Alright, block 4. What are we? We are... 3C. Off we go. He's the source of all- I'm the source of all dumb in the universe. Don't get pissy with me, it's you all stealing my shit. Give my dumb back. I've installed a new alarm, you see. Whenever anybody comes in to try to take some of my dumb, it's a little... 
It's a little bell on a string attached to the doorknob. I call it my dumb bell. <laughs> no, you don't. What you hate is my manservant. His name's Billy. He serves me all my food. That's why I call him my dumb waiter. <laughs> Love is in <laughs> Get out. <laughs> no, you get out. This is, this is mine. My stream. Mm -mm. Nothing, it's locked. Yeah, you'd assume so, it's your place. Did you lock it or not? This key doesn't seem to be the right one. Oh, she was 3C, not 3B. God damn it, that was two minute, a minute ago. How did I forget already? You need a trip downstairs while weed whacking and flip flops to summon your dump back. <laughs> You're not hanging out with me? Oh no. But what about our Vegas trip? We could do so much dumb there. <laughs> yeah, I need to be weed whacking my fucking stairs. That'll generate enough dumb to last a lifetime. Instructions on mixture. A note about how to combine several chemicals? Erica, come see me when you read this. I couldn't find the luminol. I think it's in your locker. But you must have left the key in a trouser pocket as usual. When you find it, get some hydrogen peroxide, come home and mix them up as follows. 200 mils of stabilizer, regardless of the final amount of product. One milli bleh, one milliliter of dimethyl cyphoxide and two milliliters of hydrogen peroxide for each milligram of luminol. Uh, fifty mils of distilled water as a base, and another fifty mils if the total mixture is more than half a liter. When you've got it all, add the luminol. Conversions. Hydrogen peroxide, dimethyl sulfoxide, stabilizer, distilled water. If you have any trouble, remember that bottles A and B are the same size and their taps are identical. Ah, boy. Why are you leaving shoes on a fucking counter? Some of my favorite leather jackets. Now I just need a nice ride. Okay. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Parties, holidays, concerts, so many memories. You did not get invited to parties, how dare you? Parties aren't real! Oh. I locked the cabinet before I left, now I need to go find the key. Why the fuck? I, do you have children around? Why are you locking your cabinet? Ugh, Americans, they don't lock their doors, but they lock their fucking cabinets. I hate these people. Fun isn't real. Memories aren't real. They're just a byproduct of the Matrix. Hello. Are you in my home, monster? Uh, have a guitar. I would so love to spend the day here chilling and playing the guitar. Oh no! Nobody likes my scorpion. Yeah, it's venomous, I get that. But it's never hurt a soul. Yeah, because you keep it in captivity. That you know of. Fuck. No one understands you, little guy. And I don't need to. Kill it. My favourite horror stories of all time. I'm not the world's most avid reader, but sometimes I read books by the dozens. That's a pretty avid fucking reaver. Reader. Oh god, no! A fucking redback? How did it get so big? Redbacks are not that big. Uh, 
Spider- No! <laughs> no don't get any fucking ideas. Hi, Precious. No! Did you miss me? No, it didn't. Did you like the Coltile tech token I left to keep you company? Why? Why the fuck? I can't just put my hand in there. This is a Sydney funnel web spider. If it bites me, I'm screwed. One, that's absolutely true. Two, no, that's not. That's a red back. Funnel web spiders look much different. What the fuck? Don't... Uh... Oh, Americans, you just don't get fucking Australia. And three, if you had a... You have a pet that you wouldn't be willing to fucking put your hand near. It's not a fucking pet. Oh my god. Alright, give it its fucking food then to distract it or something. Nope. Fucking. Why can't I give it its food? Do I have to... Maybe I can unlock this first. No. Oops. This is what I feed my pets. Ugh. Um. Open it. The wine. No! No! Racist. You racist. You called that whining. Uh, right. I hate I hate this person so much. Everything I learn about this person, I hate him more and more. The Rose Maze, one of the best sci-fi movies. Nice. Posters of exhibits and events I've gone to in the last years. Fucking her hobbies range wildly. She keeps scorpions and spiders. She wants to get a motorbike and wear her leather jackets. She likes sci-fi movies, horror books, history, and, um... Uh, what's this art style called? Am. what's this art style called? It's for uh, traditional Indian, isn't it? No, oh, she's varied, I'll give her that. That's art. Mm, it's kind of named, isn't it? Art? You know, Suki, art ha has categories. Has genres and shit, too. Mandalas? Is that a mandala? I think that might be the word I was looking for, but I might be wrong now. Aren't mandalas just patterns? I don't know. I put mementos up some of my best stories. That's... okay. Why does everyone leave their TV on? Notes taken by Isaac Farber. <laughs> These notes? Those are the circular designs, yeah. Ah well, whatever. A ghost? A monster? Demon? My own insanity? She needs to leave this place. In my home. Inside the walls. All over the entire building. Wherever I go. The photographs, they can't be real. Is it me? Where is Simon? Cannot get in anymore. There is something underground. Show them to Erica when she comes back. Do not go downstairs. Good notes. Dad, what the hell is this? What? What vigilant... Oh, that's a mandala. And that. And that over there. Must have left the cabinet key in one of my pockets. Damn, my place is a mess. Okay, well then search, you... It's not here. Where the hell did I put it? In a pair of pants? Oh, Jesus. All of our keys, conveniently organized by Dad. That is not... How many keys? This will be interesting. Alright, what do I want? Uh, the ones on the right-hand column are all keys. You're going to keep them just in case. Okay, so I don't need any of these. Can I not just take them all? Okay, I can only take three. Take. And take and take and take. Yoink. Oh no, my keys. 
The colored metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. Okay, is there anything else I need? I think the security door is open, isn't it? Um, square gold keys and black plastic keys are all for devices and apparatuses in the shop. I can't think of anything else we need in the shop. Um, Tsuki, check the Discord. Oh god. Uh, the rounded triangular silver keys are the copies you made for old display cases. I don't think I've seen anything in a display case I need to get. Uh, the round green key... It's for my motorcycle. And the red plastic key is for the safe. The small gold key is for the little box with your mother's things. The other three are for the... Okay, so anything that... I'm assuming the three I need are the ones that don't fall into the top categories. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do I even want to know? Uh-huh. I hate that. Thanks, I hate it. Oops. Alright, so... Nothing on the right hand side, so they're all out. Um, nothing that's coloured metal. Okay. Uh, not square gold or black plastic. Okay. Um, not round and triangular silver. Alright. And not a green plastic key or red plastic key. And not the little gold key. So what doesn't fall into any of those characters, in those categories? What's that one? Uh... Is that metal? Uh, it's hard to tell what's metal and what's plastic. Around and, uh, anything about gold triangle keys? No, nope. okay, so I assume I want those two? It's so cute. Quonky, you want. Too bad! It's cool, but fuck spiders. All right, what else doesn't it mention? Does it mention? All right, small gold key, square gold keys, black plastic keys. So small square gold keys. So not that one. Um, hate you. Good. Let that anger flow through you, and when you stare at the picture of the spider. Alright. So... I wish I had some way of being sure what's plastic and what's metal. I assume the ones that just shine more are metal. I assume... so that would be plastic, right? As with that one, that one. And that would be metal, plastic, square, is that a square gold key? Square gold key, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. None of the ones on the right side. Whoops. Okay, so rule out all of those ones, right? Okay. Definitely not that one. Uh, none of the coloured ones, so basically I can ignore this entire row except for this one. Is there anything about silver circle keys? Nope, okay, I'm going to assume that one. Coloured metal keys. Round, 
are the round and triangular. Silver keys, never mind. Alright, so what's this one then? This blue one, is it? Coloured metal? It's really hard to tell what that one is. It's so fancy. Okay. Square silver? The round and triangular silver keys? Square gold keys? Okay, it doesn't say anything about square silver. Round plastic. Alright, so I'm going to assume that one. Uh, what is this one? That's, is that count as coloured? The round green plastic key? That would be... Fuck, that could be that one. Or that one, really. Actually, that one looks like metal. I think that's the one he's referring to. Oh, so far we have Quarren and your jerk sister as the only two who are less than enthusiastic about your plan to try for the medieval fair. Where was I less than enthusiastic? I said go for it! All I said was I didn't know what your... ...circumstances are like. So I can't be precise. <laughs> I mean, I... also I'm not, you know, professional advice. But I said go for it. If you could, if you could do it and you could afford it, go for it. Um, small gold key. Uh, oh, all right, so square gold is no right. Small gold key, square gold key. Yep, nope. Um. Silver round is out. Uh, gold round. Gold round, gold round, gold round. That doesn't say anything about gold round. Okay, take that one. I mean, maybe you can sell feet picks. Fucking <laughs> what? Okay, have fun with your only feats. Alright, so what's this one? Silver round is a no. Coloured metal is a no. Or coloured plastic. Is it coloured metal or coloured plastic? Coloured metal. That looks like coloured plastic. Right? Oh, fucking hell. The red plastic key is out. Okay, that's plastic. It's out anyway. Uh, square gold is out. Square gold is out. Uh... Coloured metal, that's out. Uh, silver round, that's out. Coloured metal, is that metal? Is there a blue? No, these can't be the ones. Hold on. What did I take? That one. And that one. Make a few bucks. Hey, imagine there's a market for your injured foot. Probably. Put some peroxide on it. I hear that really sells. Wanna learn about drugs, kids? Okay, I'm not gonna take any colored key. I'm just gonna use that metal. Bad uh, plastic. Alright. Is that kind of square gold? I'm gonna assume that's square gold. Um, so not that one, not that one, uh, not that one, not that one. The round green plastic key. This seems like okay. What did I take? That one and that one. Alright, what is this blue one? Okay. No. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna sell then. It's the peroxide that sells it. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Apparently not that one. Uh, not that one. Not that one. 
That one? Okay. Yay! I'm a genius. That's it first. Quorum fails basic organizing for 20 minutes. It's not basic. Fuck you. You know what's basic? Your bitch attitude. Your bastard attitude. Whatever. Good god, some of these aren't even mine. What? Okay, buddy. Meh. <laughs> wine. I could go for some wine. No, I can't. I, don't, I hate wine. Nothing here. Okay. Do you call bathrooms wash closets by any chance? Is that why it's WC? No? Okay. According to Chris, I swear the pants in our relationship, zombie movies scare him shitless. <laughs> uh da 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 da. It's quite refreshing. Will Christian hate me if I watch Night of the Living Dead on the projector again? What the fuck? Order has never been one of your virtues. Nice. I'm not stopping until I find that key. Alright, go on. Did you check in those pink panties there? Your key's probably in there. I know that's where I'd hide it. Not here either. All right. Wow, she has an arcade cabinet as well. How much does her frickin' antique management job pay? Hmm, what's it? Rock and roll gems, okay. A quick reference travel guides! What? Wait. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Ugh! Wait, are you leaving clothes next to the fucking fridge? What? I like my clothes cold and moist in the morning. what I get? Small key. To your bathroom cabinet. Okay. Uh, you didn't do the dishes. Good for you. Your plant is dead. I was looking at a little bottle of wine. <laughs> Your brain gonna be dead after that, just like mine. Um, anything else I need in here? What's up there? Alright. To the bathroom! One of the two. You have a two bathroom apartment. What the fuck? And they're right next to each other. This place doesn't even look like it fits in the fucking apartment block. Actually, actually no, it, it does actually. Yeah, never mind. That was just me being dumb again. We would have guessed. Who would have guessed? That's not a wine. I think y'all need to look up what that means. An up and unopened bowl of luminol. Who wants to learn about drugs, kids? For lab use only, not for drug, food, or household use. Shit. Then why is it in your fucking bathroom cabinet? <laughs> Me too. I totally keep. 
I totally keep fucking photo developing chemicals in my bathroom cabinet. Just in case in the middle of the night I really need to fucking... <laughs> I really need to develop that fucking travel book I'm working on. I don't know. I'm tired. Alright. Storage unit. Right? Storage unit. Is there anything up here real quick? Lose your train of thought? Yeah. Okay, nothing up here. We'll get there eventually. I forgot I could run. All right, storage units, are they the ones downstairs? I think so, yeah, storage rooms, yeah. Your co-workers are bringing you tea. Can they bring me tea too? How much cafe caffeine is in bubble tea? I feel like it's probably less than regular tea, but I don't know. A lot. Is it? Oh. I want to get a bubble tea right now. In all of them equally, it's like the milk ones and the fruity ones. Yeah. Hiding place. Um, is there one in there? Uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. I'd say more of the fruity ones. Oh, good. Because I'm getting sick of the milk ones. I want a fruity one. With the strawberry pearls rather than regular ones. Uh, there's a hiding place down here, right? Oh, there's also one... Oh, well. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Come on down, Sophie. I don't want to die again. There's a lot of progress to redo. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> when you face the Requiem, always watch your back. What the fuck are you talking about? Just casually sauntered to her death. That's as fast as she goes. Look. It's inconvenient to die, but you know. These aren't running shoes, you know? <laughs> the lights are on. But 
see whether Farber is around somewhere. I mean, if a killer breaks into your home, what, are you gonna go back out, put on your muddy shoes, and run back in to run around? No. You, you know, you'll go at your own pace. There's nothing wrong with going at your own pace. A uh, crowbar! Okay, that's just gonna sit there, I can't interact with it. Map not available. What? Where the fuck am I? Oh shit! Where the fuck am I indeed? Okay. I have no idea where I'm going. Is it one of these ones? The key fits in the lock. Whichever one. I don't know. One of the three. Uh, you're looking for a storage unit with a wardrobe. There's nothing in this one. Okay. At some point, was there a... Was there a document? List of product lots. Um... Uh, I can't find it, I can't remember where I stored that blessed music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes, otherwise where could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. We took it into the courtyard and dragged it into one of our storage rooms in the basement. But which one did we put it in? I can't even remember what color or shape it was. Could I possibly reveal the blood? Oh, okay, hold on. I'll achieve nothing this way. What? Bet this will show you the blood. I have no idea where I'm going. What? Okay. Why don't you use the... the thing, though? I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, I know where! Well, I found it anyway. <laughs> fuck the fuck the solution to the puzzle, I guess. Should use some luminol to see if this is the one. Okay. What? What about the fucking Hey, what's that on the side? There's something clearly attached to the side. So do I need a camera? I 
guess I'm supposed to attach the light to the camera? I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I found it. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm still trying to find the other chemicals first. Is this, can I go in this door yet? No. Wait, but what was the other thing? There was the dimethyl and water. I assume there's already water in the... Maybe the dimethyl is also in there as well. Not much running in this game. Which one was the... in here? And then... this one. Alright. Come here, you little slut. Alright. 200 mils of stabilizer. What does it say, Black Weight? Do you have any trouble? Remember that A and B are the same size and their and their taps are identical. Alright. So stabilizer is C and I need two hundred. So it's three hundred now, so All right. Um, is there a? Oh shit! I'm supposed to be keeping track of whether it's half a liter. Myself. Is a liter a hundred milliliters or a thousand milliliters? I can't remember. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's a thousand, right? <laughs> Someone please teach me the basics of fucking... Oh, right, you're fucking Americans. It's a thousand milliliters. Right. A thousand, yeah, I'm, yeah, okay, same as always. Alright, uh, so I've got 200 in there at the moment. So start with 50 distilled water. Wait, is there a specific way you want to do it? Um... How much luminol do you want? Other oh, wait. 
Luminol isn't something you put in yourself. Uh, for each milligram of Luminol, well it says 150 milligrams there. Okay. So 150 dimethyl, which is B. 150 dimethyl. Oh, there's no... Oh, but they have the same amount. Okay. 150, so they're both at 525, are they? So, 125, 375. Ah, oh, but how do I know? And their taps are the same. So will the tap look different depending on... And two, so 300 of peroxide. Which is 225. Alright, let's do that. Oh, maybe I should have done it at the same time, and that would have told me. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so wait, what was that? So... Okay, so... It's... yeah, so I think a hundred... ...of this. Blow up! Mm -mm. Oh well. Alright, their taps are the same. The, so what was it? So it was... 200 stabilizer. And if we do these at the same time... Can sort of turn one of the all right. So it's dimethyl being B. Yep. Yeah, so uh, three hundred peroxide, one fifty dimethyl. Uh, so when that hits three seventy five. And then 100 of this, right? Wait, so... 200... Uh, yep, yeah, definitely. Definitely 100 of this. Need something to carry it with. Uh, <laughs> am I gonna carry liquid? There? Shut up! <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Can I take the camera? All right, something to carry it in. Uh, oh, that. Come on, I got that back at the start of the game. <laughs> start of the chapter. Perfect, all ready to go. I did it! Even the game is ejecting. Shut up! One day I'll find me a person in or program that doesn't fuck with me. Oh shit? Oh shit. What? What? <laughs> Fucking... Are you okay? 
Calm the fuck down. I lit a candle. Alright, whatever. <laughs> the exit. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, let's get out. Wait a minute. I thought... Do I use the thing on it now? Oh, that's why she was freaking out, because someone put a painting over the door. Oh no! Anyway, just move it. Just move it. It's, it's a painting. Just move it. It's not very heavy. Okay. Whatever. Does that mean... The room at the end of the hall is okay? The room at the end of the hall. Yes. Uh, Mr. Farber? Hello? What is that sound? All right. All just in my head. <laughs> Do I need a hide or? No. Do I just go where I lit the candle, maybe? Oh no, it ended. What a relief. What a relief. Oh no. The ghosty stopped trying to talk to me. Thank god. I hate when people try to talk to me, dead or alive. Alright, well, not getting in there then. Oh shit, I should have listened. Never mind. Okay, we're good. And it's back! Alright. <laughs> well, that was fun. You remember when we had the door blocked by a painting? And so we had to check a different door just so a ghost could talk to us so we could leave again? That was fun. And I finished that puzzle almost right away, so fuck you. I'm a genius. Congratulations. I know. Somebody get the Ghostbusters on the line because their services are no longer needed. Quarren Ghost Puzzle Solver is on the case. You think the Ghostbusters would have realized they had to interact with a totally random door? No. Oh, now you do it. Calm down. You just have to follow the trail. Wouldn't the light be enough? Hello, creepy mannequin. How you doing? How you doing? Mind if I give you a bit of a spray? Nice. Sorry it looks like that, you know. 
dark light and all. <laughs> Hold on, one at a time, one at a time. Alright, alright. Please, people, please, this is my property. Don't make me get my fucking shotgun. This is America. Don't make me spray you. Don't make me spay you, fuckers. Okay, so I guess that thing is just going to keep going around now. Well, of course it's going to be... Through there, huh? Okay. I hope that thing's not just wandering around. Wait, what? Why was there a bloody handprint on this door? Oh shit. I don't want the map. Get the fuck in the... Okay, sounds good. Off we go. Okay. How did I find this thing by pure chance earlier? Now I can't find it with the guide. Wait, is it coming after me? <laughs> I hope you like coming back to this closet again and again. I'm not sure where I'm safe. And I do not want to do any of this again. Okay, so... Wait, there's got to be a closer door than that. So, it came through here, so it's not, no, but am I supposed to find another way around? I suppose, through here then. Hold on, hold on, I'll find me a door. Maybe. So does this come out the other side of the gate? That shit. Uh... See you lost again? Always. This is clearly not the wardrobe. I found it earlier. 
Luminal. <sighs> That's for fingy prints. So am I. Ah, uh, can't. F All right, so. Is that it back there? No, that's... I don't know. You've learned that in school. Really? Did the school also keep it in the bathroom character? Bathroom character. Fucking I was reading what Amisteria said at the same time. No, I won't lose this character. I can't. Alright. So... Came through there. You went to school for criminology, so yeah. Wait, what? You did? You still have the one dude, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I'd, rather, I'd still rather get this done in one attempt. Wait, I was coming this way. So... What? Oh, shit. <laughs> I've got to run out of Luminal. You didn't know? Uh, maybe. Oh, I found this earlier. I found this room earlier. Wow, such a bad streamer knows nothing about his audience. Bruh, I don't have parasocial relationships with my audience. That would be bad. I remember coming this way before. And I think I went this way. Yeah, I remember this room too. Then why are you streaming? What? What you talking about? Who starts streaming to have parasocial relationships? That's bad. Found it. And I'm alive. So fuck you. Dementia, my man. Let's go have a party. <sighs> and we came all this way just to head back. Great. I get the feeling it's going to be stalking me more intensely now. coming. Oh, I can't go into a room anymore. Maybe it's gone. Again?
Ah, shit. Oh, you just realized that was there? It's not an it, it's a they. Pluralize, you twat. So what's in here then? Oh, maybe we can come in here now. Building utility meters. Everything looks so run down. Turn it on! Turn it up. Oh, there's the last one of those. Oh no, there's still one in the fucking spiders. Spider fucking thing. Ugh. You assume a lot of people stream out of loneliness? No, no, no. It's not spe You've got to be specific. It's not loneliness. It's a need for validation. Will we beat this chapter before time is up? Hopefully. This is feel a fucking long chapter. Alright, so how to get to the office again? It's... I think it's... anyway. Gripe. Wine? Do I still need this flashlight on? <laughs> I'm gonna see so much blood everywhere, it's gonna be so cool. Hey buddy, I got you another cookie. Cookie. Damn, man, true first. Moan. Mm, wow, okay. I see your future, what do I see? Something there that shouldn't be. What does that mean? Shouldn't be. If it's in your future, it's in your future. That's just... That's just what is. There's no should or shouldn't. Its name is Quarren. That <laughs> once again, this is not a this is, quarren is not a thing you should start applying terms like should or shouldn't to. You'll drive yourself mad. It just is. Just just learn to cope with that. Alright, his office. His office. Uh, which one of these is considered his office? These are both bathrooms. I judge the man. He's just hanging out. Told you I'd finish the chapter. And the table net. Things had improved after returning the box to 
You said I hope so? I said probably so, didn't I? Should so, should do it? Yeah. Listen to me! I knew why it was a long chapter. I did, because it was. And it's only chapter two. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the ideal place to find an old lady. You think she still lives here? I don't know. The papers from the auction stated that the owner had sold most of her furniture, but that she still lived here. Mr. Grant? Hello? Well, place gives me the creeps. This place gives you the creeps. <laughs> you know where you've been the last two days. To it? That's its fox. Um, no, I think it belongs to you. On the cover, it says. I wasn't speaking to you. Thank you for bringing it back, Mr. Noya. Have you listened to it? Um, yes. He has listened. Disturbed. She grabbed the music box as if she truly needed it. The important thing is she took it. Let's get out of here. That same night. Oh my god. Ow. I dropped the control on my foot. Of course. Whatever you need. I just need a couple of minutes. That was the spookiest thing to happen yet. It's dropping the controller on my foot. You can stay At least it wasn't a weed whacker. Seriously. Thanks. At least I know you won't drink my wine. Very funny. That's the sound of good pussy. You didn't drop it, you suck your foot under it? That's even worse. Okay. These cutscenes are also very long. So it occurs to me that I didn't end up getting the final token for the uh, fortune teller robot thing. I did try to feed the spider to distract it, but oh well, I guess that's like an extra 
unlockable thing or something. So those who ever want to fucking 100% complete this game for some reason. Exactly, if you're gonna make fun of me, do it right. Some of us have standards. This is the wrong place for you then, my friend. You, uh... <laughs> standards? Never heard of them. Wait, haven't I already seen this? A beam in his office. A hallucination. Or something worse. I've seen this. Great. A PhD student and Husher's mentee. And Professor Nasir, one of his associates. Gladly agreed to give us a hand with this search. I have the subtitles going. Stay up late working in Husher's office. What <laughs> the hell is going on with this game? Oh, don't worry about his children. I already killed one of them. We have a good chance of finding something there. Lately, I feel like something odd has gotten into Professor Husher. I mean, apart from his usual oddities, he seemed anxious about something and looked like he hadn't slept properly in days. Who are you? No offense, Mr. Nora, but it looks like it's the same for you. Don't worry, none taken. I'm well aware. This is his desk, as you can see. There are a bunch of documents he uses as research for his novels. It's all here. You'd better take a look at his computer and the shelves too. The sooner we get started, the sooner we'll find something out. Actually, the subtitles are back, so <laughs> they realize having standards is far too hard. That's how the documents in the donations and biographies archive are designated. Maybe he was looking for something there. Biography. Let's start with the archive then. Where is it? Donations and biographies are on the basement level. I'm sure it will be closed, but we can easily find the janitor or a key. It's not a very busy area. Can I play again? Nice. Usher was looking for something in the archive of donations and biographies, finding it could be the first step to discovering his whereabouts. You want to find where his body is hanging to? More, dude. Who the hell are you, man? Omar Nasiri. Omar, our associate professor at the State University of Arts and Humanities. He has a PhD in art history and is a former student of Sebastian Husher. With whom he works regularly in the field of education and has developed a certain friendship. Okay, so he's a friend. And who are you? Grace Richards. Eager to discover the world beyond her borders, Grace, who holds a master's in history, flew from the United States to Europe to complete her doctoral thesis and carry out research that was personally important to her. Tutored by... So another student. Grace is a brilliant student who has found in... Herman Asiri, a fellow foreigner, a mentor and friend whom she has clearly formed a bond of mutual understanding. Okay, she was also tutored by Sebastian and is now being mentored by another student of Sebastian. Okay. Oh man, I only got three people? Or oh, maybe if the daughter had been alive, I would have gotten her as well. Maybe. I don't know. Or it's just trying to get harder. Alright. Guess you're up. I'll go take a look. You check out what else is in that notebook. You're up to die, bitch. You're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap, I've only got three chances. I was hoping I would have <laughs> three more chances than before. being so scary. 
All right. Academically speaking, these books hold no value. They're just here for appearances, in my opinion. I don't know how I do it. I just need to see a water dispenser and I'm thirsty. Oh no. What a horrible nightmare. Returning to the office empty-handed would be pretty pointless. All right. You can return to the office without hands later, I'm sure. Old copies can't be empty-handed if you don't have no hands. Old copies of Newsworld. I don't know why they're here and not in the newspaper archive. I don't know why you're not here and not in that manner. <laughs> the snack machine is more popular than Omar would care to admit. The cleaning staff wouldn't normally leave a trolley here in the way. Where have they got to? I don't know. It disappeared with everyone else. Where is everyone in the world who isn't a main character? Uh, these folders with files in them shouldn't just be lying around here. They contain our personal details. <laughs> what, some kind of security breach? Wow. Welcome to Australia lately. Go to the cleaning storeroom, you need an access card, okay. Who was this? Note from Professor Marino. Mr. Glover, I tried to give you back your access card, but the good not to find you. I thought you were downstairs in the control room, but I saw you're not. Anyway, I'm going uh, for a longer weekend, and I'm not going to wait for you to turn up. We all don't have as much free time as you. Got to this... <laughs> we don't have as much free time as you, so I'm going on a long weekend. Go to the shelves of the subject taught by Professor Dunn. From there, stand in front of the shelves that would contain my surname. Count as many shelves to the right as the size of Dunn's hat. And look on the upper shelves. Don't mistake the professor's hat for mine. They're very different. In fact, I'll take my own with me just to make sure. Goodbye and enjoy the long weekend. I'm not taking my hat in the end, okay? Ah, what a really neat little detail. I've got to check that the pen works. Because I'm not taking my hat in the end, okay? So describe which one's different. Nothing useful in the printer. I don't think there's any paper. Okay. These damn fax machines, Omar doesn't believe me when I tell them their days and number. Ho 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 ho! I was born in 1998, is this actually what it was like? Man, y'all who were born before that must have been depressed as fuck. Nah, uh, should I finish searching around in there? Oh, there are stairs down. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Thank you. Da, 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 da. Shelf A. Oh. Uh, this is going to be a puzzle later, I suppose. Okay. Lady, this is no time to see if you have telekinetic powers. You... <laughs> God, what did y'all do for entertainment before Song of Horror? If I follow the cigarette trail, I might just discover everything Hush has written down. Shame these notes don't tell me much. No, no. What are you? Ha <laughs> ha, history! <laughs> yeah, history was one of the least worst subjects in school. How dare you? I can't say good, I have to say least worse. Can I have a snack? I hunky. Excuse me, sir, you're gonna have to leave. This is not the time. Will she die? I can't believe she didn't react to that. What the fuck? Let 
Oh, uh, no. It's a ghost of a crying man. Not again. Oh, gee darn it. Not again. Look at all these boxes on the floor. What happened? I don't know. Probably a spill. It generally explains <laughs> shit on the floor where it shouldn't be. Alright, just more books. What? Oh, what now? Well, they start in the spooks off early. Wait, does this say anything? Uh, religion. Oh, so. Hold on, I think I gotta keep moving for a second. Da -da 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 -da, keeping warm. Da -da 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 -da. Weird as fuck. You said it, sister. Except I was meaning more <laughs> mechanically. Not that one. Oh, that's... The hat. Okay. Uh, a message for Mr. Glover from Marino. Alright. Um, oh, no, this isn't for... This is for the library, not the offices. Alright, what about this door? Nope. Oh, fuck you. Camera, don't do this. Please don't do this. Access card reader, okay. Alright, only one way to go. Seems like a trick to me. Uh, Marino, where's Glover? I do not see a Glover. Oh, is Zachary done? That as well. Oh, really? We just got here! <laughs> Hey now, hey now. The party don't stop till you fuck off. No homers. Really? Chris did not make it. Well, fuck Grace. Uh, I'm kind of sick of that mechanic. <laughs> Fucking Should we go see if everything's okay? No, you shouldn't. Fuck you. Keep searching. I'll go take a look. Whatever. I uh I think I've run out of steam. So I'm going to end that there. As soon as it lets me. Here we go. Alright, that was that. Thank you for popping in. I will raid no one. There's no one online. Alright. Well. Hopefully. I'll have a little more energy on Monday. Which is Halloween. So drinking. And all that good shit. So I'll see you then. And bye bye. And have a spooky. Have a spooky weekend. I hope you all get haunted. 
it'll be a nice nice atmosphere for the weekend all right see you monday